what I also like doing is an eccentric one arm row, which does work the bicep. Again, we're going eccentric, I like this eccentric stuff. Um, what I would do to start with to lessen the load is do it from a pole. Now, obviously there's a pole here I can use. You could use a door jam if you wanted to. So on the side of a door, you could grab onto this sort of thing and use a door jam. Whatever you need to get yourself close here, Okay, and then load yourself backwards. Now at this point here, you can control that move and you're gonna try and go all the way to full elbow extension and then shoulder going forward, so that protractor scapula. But then I want you to drop the load coming up. Okay, so we're trying to do a eccentric load because we're just trying to bring up some strength of the tendon and get some function back. And then when you pull up, really retract and come into there. Now, this is a good little warm up. I like doing this one to warm yourself up again. Like some people, it might just be, if they're very acute, it might just be all they can do. That could be the load that you, they can do. Okay, but that's a really nice one. Instead of trying to do lat pull downs or chin ups or anything like that, that's not gonna help it. It's gonna be too much load, you're gonna get too sore, you just won't be able to do it. But this way, you can get through that pain-free range. Now, I can feel that. I can feel the weakness, if you like. I can feel that it's load, like compared to this arm, there's just nothing there. I can feel myself being cautious about that. I can feel that, but it's not painful, okay? So when you feel that weakness and that cautiousness, stick with that. Don't try and go harder and try and find the pain. There's no point doing that. So that's your one arm eccentric road using a bar. Now, if you want to advance that, I would use something like a TRX. And this meaning you can actually go lower, which means your load can be more. So just grab one, okay? and then. Make sure you start off with two. Get yourself in that position, okay? Nice and wide so you're nice and stable. What you do is you carefully load down. You've got to keep this arm ready in case you've gone too far and need to pull yourself back up. Now, obviously, the more upright you are, the less load there is, okay? So that's easy, just like the bar. This way, I can go further and really load it down. Now, this one, you've got to be careful at that point. Make sure the shoulder goes forward. Get that arm ready, pull through so you're not pulling up by yourself. Reset, get that shoulder right back, and then load down. Keeping the shoulder back in the first part, just doing the elbow and the shoulder, and then the shoulder blade at the end, but don't sag your bum. So keep that in a plank type position. Pull up, hold it back, and load back again. Again, you're getting confident to try and do that pulling load, and eventually you'll do those one arm rows, you'll do pull ups, you'll do you know, TRX rows, eventually chin ups when you're better, that sort of thing. But this is a really nice way of increasing some DC, decent eccentric load. Now you'll notice that's a closed chain exercise. So you can see how much more load I can put through a closed chain exercise than when I was doing the front sprinter, which is open chain. It's so much harder because it's direct load through the bicep. This one, I'm using my back, I'm using all sorts of other muscles to help out, so it's not as hard. So that's a really good one to start increasing some load, but being nice and safe. So the last part of this, now that you're warmed up in the shoulder, we're going to work on some mobility because most of these people have problems like myself, hand behind back, like that's really tight. It's warmed up now, but that movement first thing in the morning is horrific. And that's because it's all sticky and gunged up and sore. So you try and move the tendon and wrap it around in that position, it's tight, now that's a problem. The other thing is getting up in this position, that's tight as well. So I'm gonna show you a couple of tricks to do, and I like using the mobility ones after I've done the strength of it because I'm warmed up and I'm less painful. So come on out here, I'll show you. So the first one I want you to do is again using a band but a thicker band this time so use a power band because you need something that's solid that's not really going to move and stretch so what i like to do put your hand through that if you watch me goes around like that okay so now i don't have to hold my hand up the band's holding my hand up and what i need to do is very carefully i can already feel that so that's a bit of it's like a glad wrap on the front of your shoulder so I can feel that tightness already. And what I need to do is make sure I'm not down here too far. I need to bring it up. Now, if you find that's too much, just back it off, okay? Make sure that shoulder's back. And then, when you move forward, let the band take your arm back. So let it go back until you feel that point. You go, okay, that's enough. Can you hold it there for a minute or a minute and a half or two minutes 
gently giving you that stretch, not the massive pain, gentle stretch. Can you do too much of this? It's gonna flare it up again, okay? And like I said, doing this without warming up is difficult because of the gunginess of that tendon in the sheath. It's all sticky and swollen. You need to have it loosened up and moving before you start actually getting some range because you lose so much range in the soft tissues with this injury. And even with rotator cuff injuries, this is a good one for you to do as well. So that's your hand behind your back using a band. It's a great way of doing it. The other way is doing a pec stretch and trying to get your external rotation range that way because what tends to happen is you tend to guard it quite a bit and you get really short and sore in the pec and all the pain from that bicep tends to start flooding and air a bit of referral. So that muscle gets tight and you know, I've had this loosened up, massaged every week and it still gets tight. I still have to stretch it. So what I get people to do, find a wall, try and get your hand up in there, but be back, okay? So be back in this position. Now, the trick is finding the right position where you don't feel the pain as much. I would find if you go down here, it's gonna hurt, okay? So you might wanna creep up a little bit, but for people with impingement, with from a rotator cuff problem, you can't go too high because it'll start jamming. And if you've got a bursitis in there, it'll start jamming. So you've got to find a happy medium. Now, most people just walk forward like that, but it's going to be too much pain. What I tend to do, come forward, find where that tightness starts kicking in right through the front of the shoulder where that bicep tendon is, right in the front there. It feels like right on the top. You get, and we're trying to get a pec stretch. You'll probably feel the bicep tendon first. But what I want you to do is then turn away, and you'll probably find the bicep tendon actually drops down a little bit and then you get the stretch through here as you're doing more horizontal extension okay so that position there is quite nice rather than a translation forward there it's too much load try and go back try and hold it there and then work on creeping your hand forward or down try and find that spot and there it is and again trying to hold that for one or two minutes and then away again okay so there's my top tips for that bicep problem that listen this works for me it may not work for you but if you've got the same sort of symptoms and you've been diagnosed from the physio and you've probably had an ultrasound scan to show you that your mri to show you've got that problem these are some great homework tricks but make sure get to the physio get that loosened up make sure you're doing the right exercises are they suitable for you don't just start doing this without you know with just with a sore shoulder make sure you get it diagnosed Make sure you get some treatment and then hopefully this will help you for homework. See you next time.